Good afternoon everyone. In this video, we'll see a major railway bridge drawing. We'll see how to study a major railway bridge drawing and we'll also see what are the different components that are there that are there in a railway major railway bridge. So first of all, let us see this longitudinal uh, elevation of the uh, railway bridge. As you can see here, this is a PSC I girder bridge. So this here is the longitudinal girder, longitudinal I girder. Here at center we have one intermediate cross girder and at the ends we have two end cross girders. Then we have the abutment cap on which this uh, abutment end cross girders are resting. This is a one span uh, bridge only. There is no intermediate uh, support here. Only uh, at the ends of the two girders we have two abutments for support. So as you can see here, end cross girders are resting over uh, bearing pedestal, which is uh, casted over the abutment cap. So since this is a railway bridge, uh, we have the tracks running over this. Uh, above this uh, cross gir uh, eye girder, we'll have blast, sleepers, tracks and everything. So here rail level and formation level is also shown in the drawing. Since this bridge is spanning over a uh, natural drain, so we here HFL of the uh, natural drain is also denoted here. So now <coughs> these are the abutments, two abutments, uh, one on A1 side and one on A2 side. And uh, these are the weep holes shown here to drain out the water from backfill of the abutment. Then we have this foundation part of the bridge. Uh, abutments are supported over the pile caps and below it we have piles. Now see what are the details given here in this table. So let me zoom it a bit for you. Since this is a railway bridge, we have uh, rail levels, formation levels, then we have ground level, then chainage of the chainage is also given. So these are the details given here in this table. Then apart from that, we also have this board lock data in this major bridge uh, drawing based on which the foundation designing is done. Now let us come to the plan view of the of this drawing. So in plan as you can see one side we have uh, bottom plan half bottom plan and half top plan. So first we'll see half bottom plan. So this is the abutment wall in plan view this is the abutment wall and these are the written walls of the bridge uh, then after that after the written wall we have this retaining wall to contain the backfill to contain this uh, side slope of the bridge we have these uh, retaining walls here since uh, these are counter fort retaining walls and not typic uh, typical our cantilever type so these are the counter forts of the retaining wall these are the counter forts of the retaining wall and then after that we have this uh, since these bridges are on embankment then these are the slopes indicated from the top of formation and uh, stone pitching is generally done here to make the slope stable and at the end these uh, side slopes are restrained by a toe wall so this toe wall is shown in this is generally known as quadrant pitching these are done to make the slopes stable. So we have uh, this uh, side slopes and then stone pitching is done to protect it and these, uh, pitch, uh, these uh, slopes are contained by a toe wall at the end. This is the line of toe wall shown here. These are done on all the four corners of the bridge as you can see here. Then this is the natural drain which is flowing across the bridge. Flow of the uh, natural drain is also shown here. Then after that we have some uh, we also have some notes in the major bridge drawing so all the notes showing the details of the of the structure and uh, the drawing is uh, given here at the bottom some structural notes hydraulic data is also given in the note then uh, details of uh, concrete and uh, steel everything is given in the notes and the codes that are followed for designing of this bridge that is also mentioned here then since these are pile foundations so pile capacities and all that is also mentioned here so uh, all the details of this uh, structure
structures are given in the general nodes then at the top we have one key plan so this basically shows the position of our bridge so here uh, coordinate is also given so that uh, people can mark it at sites with the help of total station so coordinate is also mentioned here so this is basically the key plan showing exact location of the bridge so this is uh, how a major bridge general arrangement drawing looks in this drawing we will see some details of uh, substructure and superstructures so here as you can see the plan of pile cap is given this is the plan view of the pile cap this is the pile cap and here you can see the piles underneath the pile cap then uh, this is our abutment wall at both a1 and a2 side and after that we have return walls so here one section as you can see here one section bb has been cut here and the detail of that section is given here above the plan view this is the section bb this is our pile cap above it we have abutment walls above it we have abutment cap then we have this is the dirt wall and the height of this dirt wall is from the top of abutment cap to formation level then after that we have end cross girders resting over pedestal and bearings uh, then we have our longitudinal girder as already discussed and here also we have uh, on a2 side also abutment a2 side we have uh, end cross girder resting over pedestal bearing pedestal and these are our counter ports of the retaining wall so this is section bb then after that here one view xx is given uh, containing the details of abutment cap so on abutment cap we generally have pedestals two pedestals on which uh, bearings are fitted bearings are fitted over these pedestals then we have one seismic reaction block so these are generally provided uh, to safeguard the to safeguard our uh, structure during uh, earthquake or seismic reactions then we have OHE poles over which our electric traction runs these OHE poles are also given and this is the top plan of abutment cap containing similar things uh, this is our seismic reaction block then we have pedestal over which uh, bearing rests and, uh, again one pedestal then we have seismic reaction block one more seismic reaction block then again we have uh, bearing two more bearing pedestals since this uh, abutment a1 is containing four girders four eye girders so for four eye girders there are four uh, uh, pedestals since four bearings will come over it then this one detail x has been shown here uh, in this detail this is our abutment wall this is inspection platform uh, generally constructed for inspecting uh, the top of our abutment and this is our <coughs> abutment cap on which uh, pedestal rests and above the pedestal we have bearings and this is our dirt wall uh, extending from the top of abutment cap to the formation level then one section cc is shown here and one section aa is also shown here so these contain these are our longitudinal eye girders as i told you earlier also there are four eye girders resting on four uh, bearing pedestals of abutment cap so these are the two tracks one is up track uh, running towards increasing chainage and one is down track running towards decreasing chainage so center to center spacing between these two tracks is 6 meters center to center spacing between these two tracks up track and down track is 6 meters total uh, width of formation total width of uh, formation is 13.5 meter and these are our OHE poles over which electric traction runs so these are all the details that are generally there in a major railway bridge drawing I hope this video was helpful to you thank you